G'day guys, welcome back. Look, I'm going to do a huge project today. My uh, big um, coaster and tray geode mould. Now I did one, oh it was a, a long time ago now, but I, I did one. Um, I had gold around the edges and then I had shades of blue. It was gorgeous, but today I want to try something a little bit different. Uh, those of you that watch my acrylic pouring, uh, I did this, I don't know if you can fit all, fit all that in, but I did this fire swipe acrylic pour a little while ago and I was wondering what it would look like uh, in resin. Not the cells though, just putting it away, not the cells, just the, the colours. So what I thought I would do is black around the outside, there's a hair, there's a hair in there, Black around the outside, then red, then orange, then yellow in the middle. And with the centre, first of all I was thinking like just black at the top and then the other colours, but then it might look a bit odd. So I'm going to go black around the outside, then the red, then the orange, and then the yellow in the middle. So we'll see how that goes. Let me get my other glove on. Now I've made up... Um, that's my resin. I've chosen a thicker resin today because I don't want the colours to blend as much. You know, when I'm doing coasts, I want the striations and I want them to blend. So I use a thinner resin. This one's quite thick. Like it leaves a little mound there and you can just feel the resistance when you're stirring. It is thicker. This one's the Delcom Crystal Clear. Now the mould itself holds about 900 grams of mixed resin, which is 30 ounces. But I didn't want to mix up too much because... Um, I don't want it. I don't want to risk it going off. So I'd rather put, say, two thirds in, um, and then come back and do a clear coat, which is what I'm going to do. That way, I don't risk, um, you know, using too much resin. So I've got um, these are a more pigment pastes. I've got black, red, orange, and yellow. So that's what I'm going to do. like so. Now let's put in the resin. So I made up 300 grams of part A and 280 grams of part B. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, the Delcom. Not like my other was, which is um, a two-to-one. Now these are pretty full cups, so I'm hoping they're not going to go off. Maybe I should have put them in sort of wider open mouthed cups. I'm just going to have to get a riddle on I think and I'm just going to divide them equally. Actually I probably won't need as much for the black hey because it's going to be quite dominant. I think we'll put the most of the yellow in. I don't know. Whatever it wants to be, I guess. And then I'm going to kind of swirl with my stick as well to kind of make flame, flame pattern. Okay, that's it there. Uh, put you over here. Right. Okay, I've got some sticks. I've got some paste. Just got this sitting on a piece of um, baking paper to catch up, catch my drips. All right, here we go. Oh, is it just going to fit? It's just going to fit. Um, actually, I might just, I might just pour it in. Actually, it might be a better option. And you're not, you haven't got much in you, so we'll just put you upside down for a minute. Oh gosh, that was quite a lot. <gasps> oh, maybe that was too much. It's a big cup of resin, though. Like I could feel it's already going warm. I have got my air conditioner on. It's quite hot in Queensland, Australia at the moment. We're in the middle of summer. Let's pour some of the red in. Yeah, probably didn't need so much of the orange hair. You don't need much of the pigment, so I was forgetting that. But it was a quite a runny one, that one. Like some of them are thinner than others. That'll do. Yeah, I think I put too much of the orange in. Well, I hope it still works. 
You're supposed to put a little bit in. Hey, I was doing what I would do if it was a mica powder, I think. Overcompensating and adding extra because it's a mica powder. But it's not. It's a paste. All right, just give me a minute to stir these up. They stir in much easier than the mica powders. Hey, because the powders, you've got to be careful because the little bits get stuck on top. I hope these colours are going to be nice together. I had a look at my pigment pastes and thought, what colours can I use? But I think these ones look really pretty together, nice and bright and opaque. I wanted them opaque. You know, I've, when I do my coasters, I do them with the mica powders and... I mean, I do make them opaque, but you get the beautiful striations and things, but I didn't want that in this. I just want block colours, and then I'll swirl a little bit to get, like, you know, fiery, flamey effect. Let's see if I can get some out of this one. Oh, you're quite runny too. See, some of them are quite runny. There we go. That should do. Clean up my mess don't like mess. Oh, it's getting warm. I better get a riddle on. I, ooh. <laughs> I think I put too much paste in. Never mind. Never mind. It's done now. Because you're only supposed to really use the tip of the stick, aren't you? But it's like it's a full cup. And these hold like, I think they're 225 mils, so almost a cup. A cup full. All right, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to start start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. Right, now I can't pinch these. Actually, you might, you know what? I'm going to put them into other cups so I can pinch them. And that way also, um, hopefully, there'll be, you know, less, less resin. So they shouldn't go, oh my gosh, oh God, making a mess. Tipped it the wrong way. Oh my gosh. This is what happens when you rush. When you rush. Let me just clean up my mess. <laughs> help! Can someone jump down and help me? I'm going into a big sticky mess now. Oh my gosh. How am I going to... I want to pick that up. I don't want to waste it. I'll do that. Okay, let me get myself cleaned up. Hang on. Oh, big breath. It's all right. Accidents happen. Let's move on. It will be fine. We'll just clean it up. Like so. It will be fine. Fine. I'm just trying to rush because I didn't want it to go off. All right. Now let's put this back. Try not to knock anything else over in my little restricted area here that I've got. Clean that up. Now I just have to dry it these ones in the bin. All right, here we go. Let's give it a press down with some paper towel because you don't want your mold wet in any way because the resin is not going to want to adhere. Okay. Oops, I've missed a bit, haven't I? All right, never mind. It's all right. It's okay. Righto, let's try this again. So I've got two of those. Let's pour some of this in here just so that I don't have it so deep. I don't want it to go off. Now those of you that have maybe used... Oh, you're going off, are you? Now sometimes you, you use too much or you pour too much and your resin goes all hard and it starts smoking and all that you've got to be careful hey don't don't put too much in your little containers all right let's let's go again now hopefully this will work 
do some yellow. Some yellow. You can always come back and add some more. And you're going to be in the middle there, like so. Put some more in. Don't want to overfill the cups because I find it all kind of runs down the side there like that if you've overfilled it. Okay. So I'm not going to put all my colour in just yet. I'm going to just wait and I can always add more. Now the next one I want to do is the black. Just a little bit. I don't think I need too much. I don't want the black to take over. I probably shouldn't be using my gloves for this. spread a lot. Oh, that's because I put you across there and not in the corner. Oh, never mind. I was only supposed to do that one in the corner, wasn't I? Oops, get around here. These things are in the way. Move the other way. Yeah, I don't think I wanted that yellow touching the black there. I might try and move that. Yellow and green, uh, sorry, yellow and black make this awful baby poo greenish sort of shade. Um, I don't know what I was thinking there. I don't think I was thinking. I was flustered. Flustered, I tell you. Okay. Let's just move that put all my rubbish down on a piece of paper towel now I need another bit of paper towel just to kind of move that yellow oops no all right baby wipes it is it's easier with the baby wipe because they're wet it just seems to be better just they just work better just put your finger in it like that and you can just move it okay get that little bit of black out of there right that's better I'm happier with that okay now next color oh I haven't finished my black yet let's put some more in here See, I did those ones right. It was just that one up there that I I didn't do properly. I don't know why. Ah, oh, flustered. Big breath. It's because you're all watching me. Can't make mistakes, but look, I'm only human. I make mistakes. I drop things. I knock things over. Uh, all right, there's a bit of black left. Is it here and there? I don't know if I can get it out. I'm not going to see it anyway. Underneath the black. Right, got it. Okay, next colour. Orange. A little bit of orange. I may use a little bit more yellow. We'll see. And I can always come back and add more colour because I'm going to blend these anyway. A little bit more. I thought that'd be really pretty, you know, dramatic in these colours. Right, let's leave that there. Um, and now the red. I don't know why, it's just harder, difficult to do a big project like this. Well, it is for me anyway. <laughs> okay, now the red. Move you out the way. Here we go. Bit of red. Put you there. I may still come back and put more black in. Let's see what happens.
How's it looking? Love these colours. They're so dramatic, aren't they? So obviously when the, you know, you're with this one, the circles on the outside are bigger, so you're going to need more of that particular colour because you've got bigger rings there. That one will need more black because it's a bigger piece in comparison to these smaller ones. So I don't think they need exactly the same amount, it just depends on the size. Like obviously this one's only got, I need more black on that one. A bit more red. There we go. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit more black. All right, which one needs some more? Let's sort of go around like that. Do that kind of a, a thing. Like so. And maybe put a little bit more here. They don't all have to be exactly the same. I do need them to be touching the edge though. So I'd have to get my little stick later and kind of push the black in a little bit. Towards the, um, the edges. How's that looking? Okay, that's looking better. Let's fill in these little gaps here. And the resin's getting thick. You can see it's starting to get thick. These look really pretty when they're apart. Um, and then you sort of, you know, you push them back together and to make the this pattern. They look really pretty. Uh, this mould is available in my eBay store if anybody wants it. And I think for the, the month of February, I will... Um, do a 20% off, hey, just because I'm, I'm using it. And um, if you guys want to grab one while it's on sale, now would be a good time to do it. Right, um, let's put a little bit more yellow in. And let that blend. Because the other colours are all quite dark. So I think a little bit more yellow on each would be nice. And just sort of pouring it so hopefully it can sort of blend a little bit. Oh, it's got quite a lot. But yeah, I want the colours to blend. All right, more orange. Put that across there. And they'll hopefully just, you know, bleed into each other, blend, which is what I'm hoping. So I thought I'd sort of do it in, in two, two kind of rounds, put some in and then wait and then put some more in. That way you can sort of fill in your gaps if you need to. So I do need the moulds to be a little bit more full. Okay, that's that one. Oh, what a mess. Are we still going? Are we still taping? Yes, we are. Okay, now the red. Let's do more red because it's been eaten up. More red. And hopefully that will kind of push the orange back again oops it's getting thick this is why I wanted to use this particular resin because it's more thick and uh, you know I didn't want the colors to blend too much didn't make up as much of a red did I I probably should have in hindsight because it's it's on the outside so it needs more like I said earlier it's got a bigger surface area to cover because it's on the outside I think I've got 
no I didn't I used up all my resin didn't I yep all right here we go a bit more red just gonna make sure I've got enough red here for this one and the one next to it and then we are good to go here we go this is the last of the red much up this end for some reason I don't know why all right that's my red all done okay now we need another baby wipe righty oh uh, what else do we need what else do we need um, I might leave it like that just for now and um, start giving a bit of a swirl before it all kinds of Kind of thickens up a little bit too much right <laughs> this is gonna be fun now I need a do I need a clean paper towel I'm not sure just wipe that off there so they're not full yet and I guess the good thing about doing this is um, if there's a bit of yellow there you know if one's fuller than the other at, with color at this stage it doesn't matter because you're going to do your top coat anyway I wonder if I should just go right off the top like that oh, it's just gonna make a mess isn't it <gasps> look you guys I'm doing it Wow, I'll just go over the top. It'll be easy enough to just pull out there. And some of them I won't go like right from the the yellow. They don't all need to go from the yellow. Just some of them the other colour like that, you know. Just give it a bit of a wiggle. Oh, that looks so good. That's so pretty. Woohoo, I'm glad it's working. Oh, okay. Let's go. I'll keep going. So you've got to wipe it because otherwise you're putting black back into your yellow, hey? Maybe you could do like a thicker one maybe on some of them like that. Oh, that looks pretty because look, you've got a two-tone there. The orange inside the yellow. See, now I'm thinking I've got too much yellow, but what happens if you come back a bit? To come back a bit with them or not, like like that with the black or not so much. I will anyway, just to add a little bit of contrast back into the the red. I don't know. Does that look? Does that look alright or does it? No, it's better the other way because then you've got these little wispy bits here. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. See there, you've, I've ended it like that and maybe it's not such a good idea. I don't know, let's just do this way. I better get a wriggle on before my resin sets up, hey? So I'll do some from the yellow and then some from the orange, just so that they're not all starting from the, the yellow maybe some a little bit wider as well just for a different look okay so this one here I'm gonna to have to go all the way around oh I'm now gonna be careful I don't go into the yellow there a mess that's for sure I think I'll move all these I don't think I'm going to need any more color at this stage am I I think I'm pretty much done I'm going to need a paper towel though because I don't want to bring the black back into the yellow so I've just got to be careful about that
trickier than you think over here. I might actually start bringing it back a little bit like that. I think that looks prettier like that, do you think? Just that little bit of colour. I think it'll blend. I, I'm not sure if it will blend or not. Maybe if I just bring the red in rather than just instead of the black. What do you think? Bring some of that red down into the, the yellow. Oops, we're starting to get pretty thick now. I better get a, a wriggle on here. Oh, I didn't wipe that one properly. See, I brought the black in. Introduced the black. Let's go the other way as well. Because there's a lot of yellow. In the middle. So I think just a... I don't know, what do you think? Do you like those in there or not so much? This one hasn't got that much red on it, you see. I need to. I think I need to sort of incorporate the red coming down a little bit more because I haven't got much red in this one for some reason. I'm not sure why. And then I need to make like flames. I need to bring that black down because it has really stayed separate, like it hasn't blended a lot, which is what I wanted, but now <laughs> I do want it to blend a little bit. Grab some of that red. Going through a lot of paper towel here. Yeah, I think the center one's got a little bit too much yellow in it. No? In the middle. I'm just going to drag some of those other colors through. Make some little flames here. Just by dragging that orange through. The, the yellow doesn't have to go all the way through. You can just you know, drag some of the orange or just the red through like that. Just gotta make sure I don't get it into the next door neighbors there. They wouldn't be happy. So yeah, I don't really don't know. I'm just just playing. I have no idea. I'm just doing what I think looks pretty at the time. We'll try and just break up some of this colour in the centre here. Just kind of blend it a little bit. Just so it's not too sort of swirly in the center to sort of blend it a bit and I don't want each little point to look the same like I want some wider and some narrower I want it all looking exactly the same What do you think? What do you think? Is it looking pretty? Oh, I better get down here, hadn't I, before I this one sets up and I lose it. Use it or lose it. I'm trying, I must have obviously spilt something there. I'll have to try and pick that up a little bit. Drag that red back into the yellow a little bit. Okay, I need another wipe. Are you still with me or are you bored and fast forwarded? <laughs> I'll never know. Pick 
up that red and take it back a little bit there as well. A little bit there, just to break up that orange ever so slightly. And then we'll drag just the orange through, or just a bit of red through, just for a little bit of contrast. There's some red there. Let's grab some of that and a bit of orange there. Whoops, going right over, over and out. What do you think, you guys? Is it looking good from where you are? Hope I haven't overdone my flames. Don't like that black through there. Let's move that away and that as well. So if you don't like something, you can go over it. Just got to be careful, it is starting to get quite sticky now, tacky. Just want some thicker pieces. So those are all quite thin and spiky there. Let's see if we can just thicken a few of those. Just so that it's not all exactly the same look. Some can be thicker, some can be thinner. And maybe some going like in the opposite direction, like that. That's probably what I need to do, opposite directions as well would be good. Because flames do that, they don't all go in the same direction, do they? So. Change it up a little bit. Um, some sort of cross over others. Helps to give it that sort of three dimensional kind of look. But you don't want them all going the same direction, I don't think. And kind of cross over a little bit. Whoops, going over the top. It's just whatever you feel like, really. I'm just, as I said, I'm trying to give it a little bit of movement, a little bit of natural look to it by not having them all going exactly the same direction. Because flames don't do that, do they? Oh, I like those ones, they can stay. I'm surprised I'm still working with this. I would have thought it would have gone, gone sticky by now. I mean, it is pretty sticky, but not too bad. Where I've made them thicker, they've thinned themselves out. I'm sure I had these thicker. They're kind of thinning themselves out. Didn't I? I thought I did. I just got to be careful not to overdo things, hey? And um, yeah, just got to be careful. Because I tend to tend to overdo things. All right. Oh, love it. <gasps> love it. Wow. Gonna take a little bit of this orange through there just to leave it as a little kind of a 
point in a couple of areas just for a little bit more depth just like so so that the yellow isn't just that block of yellow it's got a little bit more movement to it you know okay I think that's pretty good pretty good there's a bit of black in there well, I hope I haven't bored you with this I know it was a long one um, I think now I've got more yellow down this end. Uh, it doesn't I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? More yellow down that end for some reason. So bring my yellow up a little bit there. It's hard to do these these bits here because I don't have much to move. I haven't got much to move there. So it's a little bit trickier. Okay, I think I better leave it. Let's just leave it. Put put everything down, woman. Oh my gosh, I'm a big sticky mess. Let me just actually I'll just take these off. Oh are we still taping? Sorry if it's a very long video. What are we up to? 37 minutes. Or is this the first part? I don't know. All right, now I've got some bubbles. Um, I'm going to, I don't know if this will work because it's quite a thick mix already, the isopropyl. Um, once it starts thickening up, it's a little, little bit more difficult to um, get the alcohol to pop the bubbles, but going to give it a bit of a, a spray there. Uh, that seems to have worked. All right, let me get you down for a close-up. I hope it's all right. I hope it's okay. Hang on, I'm going to take you down. Okay. Oh, my mold's a bit of a mess, but that'll just all get picked off. It'll be fine. I really like how these colours have blended nicely. See the flames have got other colours in them. Still got that yellow down the bottom, which is what I wanted. Um, and then the flames that are licking up against the night sky, they've got different colours in them. Now, I guess it's not really going to stay like this because resin does its own thing and... oh. Dragged a bit of cross there. I'm going to have to fix that. Now resin does its own thing. It'll it'll change. Very reflective. <laughs> Poor camera doesn't know what to focus on. So anyway, that was that was hard work. Uh, got it done just in time though before it all sets up. I don't know if that's the alcohol that's done that, made those kind of blobbies. I don't know. I haven't really used alcohol a lot to pop bubbles, but it looks as if it might have made it a little bit blurry. Not sure. Anyway, um, thanks for being with me. Thanks for sharing this huge project with me. I will be back tomorrow. and um, Actually, no, I'm going to do a top coat, aren't I? I'm going to do a top coat. Um, I'll be back when I do that. See you soon. Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, this is set. I I went and I was trying to get like thicker flames on the edge, as you saw. I brought the stick through, and they looked thick at the time, but then as the resin sort of shrunk from the outside in, you know how it sort of wants to come in from the outside in. It's made them all thinner, like quite wispy. It's really pretty though. I'm happy with it. So I've got some more resin here made up. Uh, another cup full. And we're going to do a top coat. 
I've got my handles, just plain black ones. I think I'll, where will I put them? I might work out where I want to put them first and then just pour the resin on. Try and make sure they're kind of evenly spaced. Two centimeters, two and a half. Move you up a touch. Two point two, two point two, two point two, two point two. Okay, that's good. I might just give it a little press down. I don't know if it'll push down at all but because the one underneath the top layer I mean it's pretty pretty hard now okay so here we go here we go it's really hard for me to try and cover this with something like to stop hair and fluff and things flying in because my drawer my plastic drawer isn't big enough um, you can use a food net and that stops hairs, but it doesn't stop dust. I'm just going to put a little bit in each first to make sure I've got enough to go around. And then I can just sort of help it level a bit if it needs a hand. I'm going to make sure the middle one's got enough to actually secure these handles in. So I'll make sure this one's got plenty first. This is going to take me a little while to spread out. Just going to make sure that everybody's got enough. I'll leave that tiny little bit in there just, just for, oh, for later, just to make sure I've got enough. Now I'm going to use this little palette knife. Just to, it's just easier than using a stick, a pop stick, because this is flat. And I just have to push it along, because I've still got quite a bit of space there that I can use, you know, to fill up, because I only filled them up probably, uh, maybe two thirds full. So now I'm just adding the extra third. This is the same resin it's a it's a bit thicker the thicker resins it's not so easy for the bubbles to disperse but sometimes you just have a job where you need a thicker resin where you don't want your colors to blend like these flame colors I didn't want them blending so a thicker resin was good there but it's a little bit more tricky when it comes to filling in because it doesn't flow as easily as the thin resins. The thin resins would have just flow, flown, <laughs> um, flooded the area and gone into all these little nooks and crevices and things. Whereas a thicker one, I need to just push it in. A little bit tricky getting in here behind the handle. I'll just use the point there. You've got to be really careful that you've filled in all your little areas and you haven't missed anything. So just go around and push all the resin in. Make sure you haven't missed any areas. All right, I think that one's... Oh, no, so there's a bit of mist. It's hard to tell whether it's a shadow or whether it's a, a bit that you've missed. All righty. Um, I'm just going to do the rest. You don't need to watch me. I'm just going to put you on pause. I'm going to finish the rest. Um, and then I'll come back to you. Right. All done. 
I just have to pop some bubbles now. It took a bit of time getting, had to push all the resin into all those little uh, geode shapes there, but I think I've got it all. Like I said, if the resin was a really thin resin, it would have just flowed out into those really easily, but because it was so thick, I really had to push it in. So I guess I could have used a thinner resin. I'm just using my really tiny little U-Butte heat gun here. I'm just hitting the top of the, the resin. I'm not touching the side of the mold. Just real quick. And then I'll wait for the bubbles to maybe come up again and then I'll go over it again. If you're using a thin resin, you can spritz it with alcohol and that works better. But because this is quite a thick resin, it's a high vis well probably a, a medium viscosity but it sets up pretty quick so it starts getting thick really quickly um, and then it's a little bit more difficult for the bubbles to be released okay when I look across the top like that I can still see some bubbles so I'll go again just gently it's only a little heat gun you can possibly use the um, embossing tools but I find that in my experience, when I've used them, it just kind of blows the resin around. It doesn't actually pop the bubbles. So I'm just going over real quick. All right. Turn off. Turn off. Why won't you turn off? Turn off. Oh, my gosh. All right, so there it is. Oh, it's looking so pretty. There's a few more bubbles just there. So anyway, I'll give it a few minutes. I'll wait for some more bubbles to rise. It's not filled totally, totally to the top um, because I only made, what well, the first layer was, um, what did I do? 580 for the first layer. And then I made uh, 240 for the second layer. So what's that? Five, seven, eight. Probably could have done like an extra little bit, probably an extra 100 mils, an extra three ounces, just to fill it up to the top, but I wasn't quite sure how much I needed. So, um, yeah, do you want to come down and have a little close-up, or yes, you're good from up there? <laughs> There's not much more to see from down here, I guess. Um, I'll take you down, though. Hang on one sec. Okay, so I don't know that there's much more for you to see. Let's see if I can pick up any bubbles on the surface. I'm looking across the top like that. If you look at it into a light, you can usually tell if there's any hairs or bubbles or anything like that. But it's looking so good, nice and shiny. There's the handles. They will just get, they'll just stick in as the resin dries. You can put them in on your first layer if you want to, but it just sinks them down a little bit more. So there we go. There it is. Okay, I will look forward to unmolding this baby in the morning. See you then. Good morning, everyone. Guess what? It's time to unmold. Yay! I did leave it sitting uh, for two nights just because otherwise I find that the trays sometimes sort of warp a little bit so leave them in as long as you can um, and then also try and weight it down maybe for another few days but let's just pop it out it should come out nice and easily they do look at that beautiful I can't decide if I want to I'm trying to get the the top can we see the top look at that look at the shine on that I'm trying to decide if I want to do um, gold along the edges or just leave them I'm not sure what I want to do <laughs> there's the back exactly how I poured it without the flames though right let's get them all out let's pop out really easily Oh, there we go. Look at that. You can see the shine <laughs> reflecting outside. I love it. I'll get them all out and then I'll set them up on my little table here. I have got really beautiful points on the end of these. 
you know, using the thicker resin. And as it sort of thickened over time, you know, I went in and I drew more little petals, not petals, flowers on the mind, flames, uh, to try and keep those flames from, um, like, dispersing. You've got to keep doing it as the resin thickens, really, to keep your flame shape. Oh, look how easily they pop out. A little tiny bit of sanding on this one here. I mustn't have filled that one as much as the others, but actually there's really not much at all to sand on them. Really pretty. Leave the biggest one for last, hey? Look at that, they just pop out so easily. Not much to see on the back. Right, <clears throat> shall we do the big one? Let's do it. Pop it out. Beautiful. Love it. All right, let me just move everything. Now I'll put, oh, I'll put that put that down for a sec. I'll just move all this and get my gorgeous huge mold out of the way. It is huge. <laughs> all right, here we go. Pop that down there. Hope we can see. And I don't remember where everything was, but remember where it was I don't think it matters really it's supposed to have a little bit of a, a gap between we're going over the edge down here oh, oh, well, we're okay and it just fits where's that one go there maybe I don't know if I've got them in the right <laughs> Uh, no, that one's not right. <laughs> Where's that one go? That one must go up there. So like a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle sometimes. Putting them back together. Yeah, that looks right, doesn't it? Does that look right? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. I think that's about right. Look at that. Clip, clip, clip. They just snap into place. Beautiful. That's it. I think I've got it. Yay! What do you think? Do you like it? I love it. Really happy with the way it's turned out. Look at it from down here so you can see the, the handles. Beautiful and shimmery and shiny surface. I did that top coat. Where's the other handle? There it is. Look at that. Really love it. So there we go, that's it. Um, I'll take a photo of it outside in the sun anyway and show it to you when it's all done. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Feel free to um, buy one of my gorgeous geode tray and coaster sets, a seven piece set. They are in my eBay store and they are on special at the moment, 20% off. The link is in the description below. Right, uh, I'll see you all soon for the next video. Love you all, bye for now.